today we are reading Good Night Opus. Which book, dear Opus, may I read you tonight? Asked Grandma with love at the start of the night. Why, my favorite, I said, the one with the rhymes, the same one you've read me 209 times. And just as it is with all proper grannies, she ordered me into my pink bunny jammies. Then she sat and said, Hush! And her voice filled the room. Good night, she read softly. Good night to the moon. And good night to the lamp and the little toy boat. Good night to the mittens all hanging and soaked. Good night to the floor. Good night to the walls. Good night to the rug and the doors in the halls. Good night, tiny mouse. And good night, blue moonshine. Good night, Grandma read the two hundredth tenth time. I can't really say how this happened next. After 210 times, I departed the text. Good night, I yelled, jumping. Good night, far away. Good night to you all, in my milky way. Sit back down, Grandma said. Get back into bed. There's no one up there, and that's not what I read. When your sight surpasses what's plainly in view, pull your head from the clouds, keep the ground to your shoes. Now let's finish the story with no Milky Way. It's improper that folks get so carried away. But she read no further. She said nothing more. Yes, Grandma had paused for a snooze and a snore. Now I take full blame for all that came next, for I continued the story, but departed the text. Good night, I yelled down to the chap neath my bed. Good night to you, big-nosed, blue-footed biped. I'm so sorry I've missed you each night but tonight. I was told not to focus on things out of sight. Yes, good night, said the beast with the toes, Taffy Blue. I've been here for years and not noticed you. Let's finish your story and get carried away. We'll wish them good night in that far milky way. My friend went to me as his voice dropped to whispers. Let's go there ourselves. Wish it right to their kissers. A team's what we need. That's just what I said. So we signed up my pillow and gave him a head. But what of dear grandma? There's no need to tell her. We hoisted and snuck her down to the fruit cellar. She'd hear nothing there as she snored in her slumber, comfy and snug under tons of cucumber. Our crew was complete, my Milky Way team. We boarded our Milky Way flying machine, powered by dreams and some blue-footed help. We launched from the roof and let out a yelp. Good night to the city, good night all you people. Then we sideswiped the kitty and shortened the steeple. We flew past a fairy in need of some sleep. She'd spent the whole night just collecting old teeth. They rose to her girdle and covered her feet. There were heaps upon heaps, two thousand feet deep. Good night, we yelled down and she waved us over. She wished to resell an old Elvis molar. We dropped in to check on the Washington scene, where I talked with Abe Lincoln and told him our scheme. He said he himself had chased a few dreams, but now that he's marble, he wished for small things. And what, I then asked, would you most like to do? A swan dive, he said, so we stripped and did too. We flew past the sailors of Blue Mist Lagoon, where for 10,000 years they fished for the moon. 
They've seen it up there, and they just want to hook it. They dream that one day they might baste it and cook it. Good night, I called down. We'd help, but we're late. We're off to the stars. They yelled, bring some bait. We flew through the clouds, and that's where we met all those wonderful folks aboard that big jet. We yelled them good night till our faces turned purple, but theirs turned to white like they'd swallowed a gerbil. We haven't a clue as to what caused the scare. They slipped by quite nicely, with inches to spare. Then we soared higher up till this whole sky was filled with lovable friends that the Milky Way spilled. There, all above us, six billion udders. No cow dads around, just milky cow mutters. Good night, I cried out. Good night, one and all. Then they served us ice cream for a Milky Way ball. T'was time to go home, and they wept and said no. Then they kissed us good night, all six billion or so. So here is the freshest of up to now tips. If you do a cow smooch, avoid those cow lips. I found my way home and collapsed on the floor. Not long before Grandma showed up at the door. I told her all of what happened that night, that I stepped out for once and followed my sight, and that sometimes it's good that we look for a way to depart from our text and get carried away. For years I've thought back to how Grandma had listened to all the great things that I said she'd been missing, how that night she had paused at the foot of my bed and smiled at those Milky Way cows overhead. I sure like to think that one night or the next... She'll get carried away and depart from the text. All right, kids, that's the end of that book. Um, let me know what you guys think. I really like this book. Any book that rhymes, I got to say, it's, uh, it's a plus one in my book. Um, moral of the story for this one, I think, you know, it says depart from the text a lot. Uh, that means to kind of go about things in your own way do things differently um just because everyone else does one thing doesn't necessarily mean you should you know that's how you know special people come about by going against the the grain you know going swimming upstream doing doing things their own way so i think that's the moral of this story and i i definitely agree with it you know if if you just follow what everyone else is doing you're not going to be special so so do your own thing and do great things out there all right i will see you next time please like and subscribe if you haven't and i will talk to you soon or you will hear from me soon <laughs>